Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day weekend. I hope everybody's having a gorgeous, blessed day. Now listen, in today's video, I'm sharing with you five DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts, as well as a quick little organization idea. So you guys, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, punch that bell, it will update you every time I post a new video. I have my little creative director, Benji Bear here. He is keeping an eye out as always and helping along. And also I'm hosting a giveaway. It's gonna be announced May 15th, $100. Amazon gift card. You guys don't want to miss out on that. I'll have a secret question in this video. Hey, but let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get it a glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how to create a beautiful Dollar Tree cross wreath. So I'm starting out with this Dollar Tree cross wreath form, and then I'm just using some burlap fabric, and I hot glued the burlap fabric to the end of the wreath, tucked it under, and then begin to wind it in and around the base till I got to this arm and then I hot glued it at the end, trimmed it off, and then I did use a zip tie to reinforce the edges of my little wreath form just to make sure that the fabric did not pop off. This is going to be going outside and so I didn't want anything um, popping off. We do get a lot of high winds and so Anyway, and then once I had that all finished, I went in with a little bit of trim. Dollar Tree is carrying this really, really nice trim, and it's great for just adding detail work to your projects. Then I decided to give it a little bit of vining greenery up the base of the cross. So I'm using this beautiful greenery that I found on Amazon. Dollar Tree also sells some viney, viney greenery as well. Because the cross is smaller, I wanted to use a smaller detail with this. Um, and then I'm taking these two beautiful roses stems. Now I did pick these up at Michael's on clearance at the end of the Christmas season, believe it or not. Um, and this cross is going to honor my mother-in-law and she did love some beautiful Victorian colors and flowers. And so I thought these would be really sweet for spring. And I'm taking some zip ties and zip tying the center point of the rose again to really make sure that they will hold on and then using this beautiful bow I made it with my easy bow maker I'm going to add that to the center again with some zip ties and I'm just going to cut a triangle in an upwards direction to finish off my tails I trimmed off any loose pieces of burlap and fabric and then gave my bow a nice fluffing and here is how it turned out. I was really, really excited about this. I think that these crosses were put out after Easter at my Dollar Tree store. Um, but hopefully you guys should be able to find them still and I just think this will be so beautiful and such a wonderful way to honor her and these make also really beautiful decor pieces. I'm going to make one for my front yard bike in different colors to match my um, Memorial Day and 4th of July colors and I'm going to share with you guys that in this video later but so fun and beautiful on a budget. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you how to make a really nice little rolling planter. So from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna take one of these storage basket containers and I'm going to clip the ends off. And then Dollar Tree is also carrying these little rolling planter bases. And I'm just going to take a crafting tool and poke two little holes in the base of this. And then two little holes in the base of my plastic storage bucket. And then I'm gonna take a zip tie and attach them together. I only ended up needing one of these but you could use two if you needed it to be really reinforced but basically I just want to create a rolling planter so having a planter on wheels makes it really nice if you have a heavier plant or you just have storms in your area and you need to kind of scoot your plants out of the way I did decide to use this really pretty I believe it's a garnet colored spray paint I just actually had it in my stash left over from one of the kids projects like a year or two ago so I'm gonna go ahead and and painted this nice pretty pop of red and that way I'll have a little bit of color on my little patio space and it did take quite a bit of spray paint so be sure and be ready with quite a bit I originally was going to paint it the same color I painted my little um, cookie pan flower but I didn't end up having enough spray paint and I wanted to make sure that it was covered really nicely you could also spray paint everything before you attach it together and then I just popped this faux little box with 
good kind of round floral into the center of it and voila I have a fabulous cute kind of little baskety decorative rolling floral plant planter using items from the Dollar Tree if you guys have priced planters online you will know they are so expensive and of course Benji Bear had to be involved in this one as well This next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to make a Dollar Tree cookie pan flower. So taking this cookie pan, I'm drawing flower petals from the edge of the cookie pan into the center. You can also find a free floral um, petal template if you just go to your Google search bar and Google free floral petal template and you could print that out and then use that to trace your cookie pan flowers. But you guys can just easily cut it also by drawing from the center in from the end in into the center and then using these fairly sharp scissors I am cutting out my different little pieces of cookie pan now I will tell you that the cookie pan is a bit sharp um, when you're cutting these out so be careful if you're concerned about possibly nicking your hand or your fingers it might be a good idea to put on some kitchen gloves or some little Dollar Tree garden gloves um, that will protect your hands or just be extra careful like I was I did okay with this but I did notice a couple times that it did seem sharp around the edges so I used about four cookie pans and at the Dollar Tree when you buy their cookie pans they are two for a dollar so you get quite a bit of bang for your buck on that one and again I'm just continuing to cut out my little cookie pan flower petals until I get the desired amount that I can make a really nice little full flower now I'm taking this ribbon roll and it's a large ribbon roll you could also use a soup bowl or a cereal bowl and I just cut a round center for the center of my flower and now I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue my flower petals on individually layering them as I go I did one of these cookie pan flowers a couple of years ago and it was inspired by my sweet friend Barb um, at the shabby chic um, I'm sorry at the shabby tree and so go check her out I absolutely adore Barb and um, I did on my last one I painted it white with some chalk paint but for this one I decided to give it a little bit more of a glamorous look and so I am going to be using a really pretty copper spray paint and for the center part here I'm using some smaller flowers petals that I cut with the rest of the cookie sheet that was not used in my larger petals and then here's how that looks and again these are fun to chalk paint you can put them on your wall for decor you can use them in your garden underneath a covered porch is where mine's gonna go but I'm just taking this copper spray paint you can find it at Walmart and it's so pretty and elegant and I'm also spray painting to match one of the Dollar Tree taller smaller flowers I've used these for so many different crafts so I'm adding some hot glue to the center of the entire thing gluing that all together and then adding this beautiful glam jewel I get all of my glam jewels at totallydazzle.com Natalie is a small business I'm going to leave her link in the description box for you guys and here it is popped into my covered porch space where my little pansies are now this is covered it doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight so I think it will be okay having used the hot glue however if you're concerned about that you may want to just use this more as an indoor option or find some more heat resistant glue I suppose but how adorable fun and fabulous on a total budget you guys have fun with this and Benji Bear of course was the creative director on this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you all how to create this super amazing little craft storage basket. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab two of their paper towel holders and two of these little metal baskets. And then using zip ties, you want to zip tie one end and then zip tie the other end and do it kind of loosely to make sure you get your basket lined up correctly. And then you can trim off those zip ties and then you can go back in and zip tie it again on either side just to really make sure it's nice and reinforced. Now you guys can see that I created a black one off to the side over here and I actually use it every single day in my crafting studio and these are amazing you guys they're super sturdy and they work really really well and I'm not just saying that they really really truly do. 
Okay, for this one, I'm going to add even an extra step and I'm going to share with you guys. It's going to be so awesome. But anyway, now you're going to take some zip ties and you're going to zip tie the top part of the basket. And again, you do want to use two zip ties on each side to really reinforce it. But zip tie one side, then zip tie the other side, then go back in and do your double zip tying to reinforce it because you don't want your basket to, you know, be, um, like wonky. So you don't want to do two sides at once, just one side and then the other side. And then now I'm going to take these little Dollar Tree napkin holders and I'm going to zip tie those to the sides. Okay, because I have been using this in my crafting studio, I needed something that I could put glue sticks. I ordered these extra large glue sticks from Amazon and then also paintbrushes in. Anyway, you're going to take and zip tie the napkin holder to each side. Another idea for this is to use this in your kitchen for storage for fruit, veggies, napkins to the side. I've used this also outside. Um, you can also use this in your makeup area. You can put palettes on one side and then like nail polishes and lipsticks in the center. But here's how I'm using this particular one in my crafting studio. I'm going to put glue sticks on one side, the paint brushes, and then all my tools and kind of markers and whatnot. And oh my goodness, like seriously, this is so sturdy and amazing. And you can put some little Dollar Tree clips to the top and then just put your paints down. Make sure you put your paints upside down. That way they'll drain to the top. And also <laughs> make sure those paints that the lids are on there really nice and securely. But this is so amazingly fabulous and storage is so expensive. And I will tell you guys to move this around. You just grab it here by the handle and it, you can take it anywhere. And I really do use it every day and I take it inside, outside, and everything pretty much stays on here really, really nicely. And it just all stays together, especially if you're a messy crafter like me. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to create a beautiful cross wreath and I'm just going to take this Dollar Tree cross wreath and then wrap it in this ribbon. And this is just some burlap colored ribbon. And this was a lot easier to use than the larger burlap that I used on the last cross wreath that I made. But again, I'm just hot gluing the ends and then wrapping it and then hot gluing the ends as I go. If this is going to be outside, you could even reinforce it with some zip ties on the ends, but this one seemed to work pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this lamb ear garland and I just trimmed off a couple of pieces any greenery honestly will do I just happen to have quite a bit of this in my crafting stash and I'm really trying to use everything that I have on hand before I go buy new supplies so I'm zip tying the greenery to the center and now you see my easy bow maker I'm just going to make a really easy bow I have this red plaid ribbon that I found on Amazon last season I had so much of it that I had some left over so I'm going to use that as the base of this bow I'm going to trim off the ends of the ribbon by putting a little bit of a triangle in an upwards direction. That's going to give it a really nice boutique finish. And then using this blue and white check ribbon, again, an Amazon find, um, I'm just going to add that as the next layer. So I want this to be a Memorial Day honoring wreath. Now this red and white striped ribbon is actually left over from Christmas, you guys. So dig into your ribbon stash. You really might be surprised on what you have. And so just layering these pretty patterns and colors is really going to bring this to life, in my opinion. So it's going to go for Memorial Day and then 4th of July. I do have a really pretty little festive um, floral that I put on my front porch that I made using mostly Dollar Tree supplies. And so all of my videos are going to be on my YouTube channel and I'm also posting a lot of them on my Facebook. You guys can go back and check them out if you want to see how I created that floral for my front porch. Now I'm using a zip tie to zip tie this bow together. And then I'm just going to zip tie the entire thing to the cross. And that way everything is gonna be reinforced with these zip ties and it's gonna go up against my little bike. So you shouldn't see the back, but I did glue some um, little pieces of greenery over the back just in case. I'm kind of like that detail person. Now you can also take another piece of ribbon and tie that over the zip ties. Give your bow a nice, good fluffing. That's the secret to my bows. And then I just used some of these Valentine's Day red roses and I popped a couple of those in the top. And then using this beautiful pre-tied bow, also from the Dollar Tree, 
um, I just added that to the center of my little cross wreath. And I think these would be so beautiful and so honoring. Um, and I'll be proud to display this on my little front bike. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking this pretty glam jewel again from totallydazzle.com. Natalie is a small business and I love supporting small businesses. I'll leave her link in the description box below for you guys. Here is how it came out. I'm sharing with you guys how it looks just kind of on my back porch here next to this pretty planter that we recreate that we created it really pops nicely against the yellow and then i'll also share with you guys um, where i put it in my front yard as well so as always i ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite video in the, this session and which one we'll be recreating and also the secret question for this video is what is your favorite summertime perennial flower so i'd love to hear what you guys are planting in your gardens right now i have some really beautiful irises that have come back that are blooming so i hope you guys are enjoying it i love y'all very much so thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure i hope you guys have a gorgeous blessed mother's day weekend i love y'all so much i want to thank you all for being here um hey don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and punch that bell we'll update you every time i post a new video i post three youtube videos a week as well as several a day over on facebook i love to keep you guys crafting and inspired and speaking of facebook i do have an olivia's romantic home group page everybody over there is so kind friendly and posting fun DIY crafts and decor ideas. So thank you guys for all of the inspiration. Keep up the good work. I see all of your posts. I don't always have time to comment, but let me tell you, you guys are doing an amazing job. Hey, listen, pop over to my Instagram and also TikTok if you want some little condensed DIY ideas. But let's go ahead and pop into our weekend. Happy Mother's Day weekend. I hope everybody is having a gorgeous, blessed weekend. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I'm praying for you always. And until the next video, remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and i'll talk to you guys very soon i love y'all